What's up YouTube, today's the day. We are coming at you with a big unboxing and Rod and Reel Arsenal video. We're excited about this. Let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we're gonna open up the Carl's box and see what we've got new for this month. We make a big order every month and we would like to show you what we've got in store for y'all this evening. Pardon me, but some of this stuff is actually already opened and acquired at different places. Most of it was from Carl's. A couple items I'm gonna talk about were not, and so let's get right into it. We've got a few Guggen Squad crankbaits that we picked up from the Guggen HQ. We made the drive over there and picked up some of the bangers, a couple recons. The first one is a Ghost Gill banger crankbait two to five foot depth rating. We'd throw this on something like 12 pound fluorocarbon. You could even amp it up a little bit, but the 12 pounds, the good rating to get the full depth out of these crankbaits. One thing we've noticed is that if you fish a crankbait with the heavier line or even braid, if that's maybe all you have spooled up, we've done it before, uh, you will not get the full depth rating, but that can actually be a good thing in shallow ponds, which a lot of us pond hop on a day-to-day -day basis. And you know, if you use those cranks and the treble hooks, you're gonna get caught on a lot of junk right up close to the bank. You might even lose your crankbaits. It happens a lot. If you use that heavier line or the braid, it's not going to dive down as deep as the rating says, so maybe it just stays subsurface about a foot or so, and that might actually be better for you. So something to keep in mind, if you're using heavier than 12 pound fluorocarbon, which is what the depth ratings are based off of on these crankbaits, you can actually get them a little bit shallower, and that might be beneficial for you in certain cases. So something to think about. Now we've also got the flat banger. Just a flat sided banger crankbait, pretty cool. Dives three to six feet. This is the Cosmo, no, Shotgun Shad. Super slick color. Definitely gonna catch the fish. Whether it's murky water or clear water, we tend to have good luck with a color like this. Uh, they just go after it, it's pretty cool. Next we've got a Recon, this is a mud bug. This is a little bit of a deeper diver. He goes eight to 12 feet. And this guy right here is a unique color that we haven't tried throwing before, so we wanted to just pick something up new, throw it on the channel for you guys and see what you think. Then lastly, we've got another flat banger. This one I believe is the Cosmo Shad. Yes, the Cosmo Shad color. Again, dives three to six feet. But I don't have any dedicated crankbait rods, so something like a 7.2 medium heavy usually works fine. Let's see what else we've got inside the Carl's box. We got a mystery tackle box inside the Carl's box. Oh, for some reason. Like I said, some of the stuff is opened. It's not that I wanted to be lazy with the unboxing, but I wanted to go ahead and get out and start fishing, of course, right when I got the box. So I didn't do the unboxing video first. You're catching it now, and we've got a couple unboxed baits for you, but it came in this month's order. So let's show you what we stocked up on. Some more Guggen Baits, Mondo Worms. This is in the natural color. Love it for the Texas rigs, gotta have them. We also got some heavy metal tungsten bullet weights. These are 3 8 ounce, and these are uh, brand new on the Catchco lineup. Also got some vial bugs. I've been throwing these a lot as chatterbait trailers. This is the, uh, well, we'll just call it white. We threw these Texas rigged and Devin actually got some catches on these suckers, just Texas rigged the other day, but I really enjoy them as the chatterbait trailers on those shad chatterbaits, they work wonders. Then, oh, we've got a baby bull shad Carl's Amazing Baits combo. The baby bull shad we just got in this month's uh, mystery tackle box actually. This is the bluegill color. Take a look at that guy right there. So these don't dive extremely deep. So what I've even done is uh, just either swim it slow or I will dip my rod tip down into the water about six inches to a foot and it really helps get that get the baby bull shad swimming right where you want it below the surface. We also got some more Stickies worm hooks. We've been stocking up on these monthly. These are five aughts. We've been going with four aughts. We've just been varying it up a little bit. We like to try new things. So five aught worm hooks for our Texas rigs and our flukes. We grabbed some Sukoshi bugs. We actually got some catches on this for our video that we made for the Mystery Tackle Box channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to Mystery Tackle Box, be sure and subscribe with notifications on to catch that video we made for the channel over there and we caught some big bass on that video, it's pretty cool. We have the Carl's Amazing Baits crank right here. Check this guy out. This is the Golden Boy, dives three to five feet. Reminds me of the crankbaits I used to fish just getting started on the channel when I always threw a sexy shad style colored crankbait. This guy right here will do some damage. This is where things get fun. We've got a lot of soft plastics. I'm just gonna choo, fly through these real quick. I think you will enjoy. Six, wait, that's not right. Five inch black and blue flake lunker logs. Mm. Texas rig, wacky rig, however you wanna serve it up to the bass, they're gonna eat it. And we got black and blue for the stained water. Biospawn four inch exo swim, swim baits. If you even wanna go weedless with it, what you can do is use a weighted belly hook and you can just tie those right onto there and have a swim bait for those tougher waters where there's more structure, maybe more grass and you need that weedless swim bait and you want something moving, 
but you need it to be weedless, these are gonna be the go-to. Then we've got some deadbolt mushroom head jigs. These are the 1 10th ounce. These are perfect for the rattling neds, that's what we bought them for, and the Sakoshi bugs. Stocked up on more Guggen baits this month, like I said, I think this is the, uh, oh, three packages of the Blue Baby Kraken Craws. We, uh, we go through the Blue Baby Kraken Craws. Texas rig, jig, whatever you wanna do with those puppies, they're gonna get bit. More Kraken Craws in black and blue. We've got some of the, and we've opened these, but we have some of these eel eliminators. These are by Game Changer Lures. I think I had some, in fact, here's a demonstration of it on one of these hard hat diesel jigs by Ketchco. We just threw this the other day, caught a big old fish on it, and that's the eel eliminator on the tail end of a jig, and it's got a nice spinning tail action as you bring it in. So you can either swim this or just cast it out, and as it drops down, that tail's gonna be spinning, and it really gets those bites going. Next up, we've got some six inch lunker logs, black and blue flake. We got more Mondo worms. This is the watermelon red color, more black and blue craws. Here we go, some dragon drops. This is natural color. We haven't thrown too many of the natural color dragon drops on the channel, so we have these for our drop shot rigs. We got some more bandito bugs, which we haven't been throwing too much. This is the natural color bandito bugs. The rattling neds. This is the smelt color. There's also a Sakoshi bug in there. Remember, we just took these out the other day. <laughs> it's almost like a silver underbelly with that green or natural top. And let me put it by the mic. Got that rattle. Some more Exo Swims. These are 4.75 inch, so a little bit lengthier. Put this on the back of a natural chatter bait or again, weighted belly hook and uh, catch some fish on these puppies right here. Natural Kraken Craws. Here's an example of a natural Kraken Craw on another one of those Catch Co. jigs. This is the Hard Hat Diesel Jigs, 3 8 ounce. And uh, what we've done is we've taken off one section of the Kraken Craw, that front section. That way the skirt ends right about where the pinchers start. So you get all the action from the pinchers. If we had used the whole Kraken Craw, the pinchers would be way down here. And that's uh, a lengthy presentation for this skirt on this jig. So we went ahead and we shortened that Kraken Craw down a little bit. Here's the packaging on those Game Changer Lures E Eliminators, you guys. More Dragon Drops, Watermelon Red. Another banger crankbait. I knew we had got a few of these. Sexy Shad Color. So this is exactly like the crankbaits I would throw as my number one confidence bait for the longest time when starting the channel. Gotta go back to our roots, but now with the Guggen Squad eyes. All right, we're almost to the rod and reels, guys. Lastly, boom! Went to the warehouse and got some Pearl. Kraken Crawls and Bandito Bugs, you guys. These are pretty sick. We actually went out to a pond in Oklahoma recently, and at this one pond specifically, they would only hit these for me. They weren't going after hardly anything natural colored, but this bright white was actually getting the job done. I'm, that actually does it for all the new baits. Let's go ahead and jump into the rod and reels we have now. All right, guys, so here's what you came for. We had to clear the table, move some stuff, but now we are to the rods and the reels. This is a Lose American Hero Speed Spool Reel. It came as a like $50 combo. We got it on sale at Dick's Sporting Goods. And then uh, later on, we purchased these mock speed sticks. This is a, it says it's a spinner bait rod, but it's a six foot 10 medium heavy rod. And we've got 12 pound fluorocarbon on this one. So what we've been using this one for is cranks and flukes. And uh, that's about all we break this thing out for. We really don't use it that much. It's just kind of a spare or an extra. So let's get this off the table and look at the next combo. I think we'll get to the new stuff last. So let's quickly look at some combos we already have rigged up and ready. This is the favorite Defender Limited Edition Lunkers TV rod along with a Luz Mach 2 Speed Spin Reel. Uh, it's specifically the MH2-300. And so we've got some 20 pound braid and then we also have a leader tied on. And what we've got on this specific rig at the moment is a Rattlin' Ned with one of those mushroom head jigs we had done in the unboxing. We've been using that with things like the wacky rigs, the Ned rigs, some of that lighter finesse tactics. Uh, finesse just meaning lighter or smaller profile. You've got finesse jigs that are just smaller jigs. You've got the finesse baits, which are just maybe smaller profile. You've got lighter weights. That's what's considered finesse and what we typically use the spinning setup for. Next, we've got the favorite white bird. This is the 7.2 Heavy. In my opinion, it actually seems more like a medium uh, this, this one, the rating is a little bit different than most of their rods. A lot of them I feel are pretty stout for the rating. This one is actually fairly soft for that heavy rating. Uh, we've been using this one for flukes and crankbaits and things of that nature. Tonight we have a Nico rig, which we used for the first time. And uh, so that's what is on the favorite 72 Heavy White Bird. We also have the Corrado K on this bad boy right here. It's a sleek matte black finish. This is the 200 HG, meaning 200 is the spool size. The HG is the higher gear ratio, and we love this combo right here. What you doing down there? 
Next up guys is probably one of my favorite combos. Uh, this is the 7-2 John B rigged rod, medium heavy. It's pretty stout though. I think this is probably the best all-purpose rod. Out of everything we're unboxing tonight and showing you, a 7-2 medium heavy is my recommendation for all-purpose use if you could only have one to take with you to the ponds. Something that's gonna get used on a day-to-day -day basis for just anything you wanna throw at it, I think this is a perfect rod. Then we have the Scorpion MGL newly launched reel. It's uh, hard to get. We've got them linked down in the description for you guys. This is the 150 HG, so a slightly smaller spool size than the Corrado K. We actually have that spooled up with 17-pound fluorocarbon and uh, gets the job done. We've got a big old swim bait on here. Next up, we got a pretty hefty rig. We have the Metanium DC, and this is with 17 pound fluorocarbon. This is actually the XG, so even the extra high gear ratio compared to the HGs that Shimano has. And then we've got that paired up with the LFG model, Big Sexy. Uh, the LFG model just has a few extra red accents over the typical Big Sexy rod, and this is a 7.2 medium heavy, and we've got it rigged up with a Texas rig right now, quarter ounce weight, four out hook, crack and crawl. That's how you do it. We're getting to the reel that spiked my most highly viewed fishing video. This is actually the Scorpion DC. This is the 100 HG, so the smallest spool size out of any of the Shimano reels we have. The spool just seems a little bit narrower, if that makes sense. So there's not as much line that you can put on this thing, but we've only re-spooled it maybe one time since owning it over a year. You definitely don't need to worry about how much line is on this thing if you're just doing a bunch of pond hopping, maybe fishing the lakes. So the Scorpion DC has got that DC braking system. We've got 30 pound braid on here uh, top water frog right now at the moment and this is on the standard big sexy rod this is actually a 7.6 heavy and so that's why we've got it rigged up with this braid for more top water applications now that's set to the side let's get to our newest rods you guys this one we are very excited about the combo looks so good together <laughs> this is the favorite emperor rod this is a 7.4 heavy the thing just looks so sick, and we've paired it with the Corrado DC reel, which is a 150 HG, so again, the higher gear ratio, 150 spool size, and uh, it does perform. The Emperor rod is a thing of beauty. This thing looks so good, and it feels so good, and the hand casting is fantastic. Haven't caught a fish on it yet. Used it for the first time tonight, unfortunately, the frog bite wasn't on. Over a couple of these travel rods, this is pretty sick. This is a 48 inch travel tube by Plano Fishing. We picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods slash Field and Stream just recently before we went out of town for a trip to California where we actually did a little filming and posted a video. So this first one is the AP Bassin rod that was featured in one of our most recent vlogs. It is a 7.2 medium heavy if I'm not mistaken. Let me break it out though so I'm not just completely incorrect. Two piece, 7.2 medium heavy. We actually caught a couple calico bass on this bad boy right here. We caught a uh, barracuda on this thing. It wasn't keeper size, so we had to throw it back, but uh, it was a bunch of fun. Handled very well in the salt water. That's the two piece absolute AP Bassin favorite rod. It's pretty sick. All the two piece favorite rods actually come with a travel case, or you could just call it a carrying case. And uh, so yeah, you dig it. All right, next up, guys, is actually a Travel Flares Froggin' Flippin' Stick. This is sweet, and we actually haven't filmed a video with this one yet, so y'all are seeing it for the first time on today's video. This is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a 7.2 medium heavy as well. So for all of our future travel videos, you're gonna be seeing this rod right here and that AP Bassin rod quite a bit. It definitely has a more low profile design. All the eyelets are much smaller, pretty slim and sleek. So the 7.2 medium heavy Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick, this one goes for $99.99. If you guys are looking for a travel rod, I would say something like this would be great for you guys but you can actually get 20% off of this or any favorite rod with our code down in the description. So if y'all are in the market for a new rod, specifically a one from favorite, you can get 20% off with our link down in the description. Go check that out. Pick you up about three to five of them because we know when we go to the ponds, we like to have a lot of different stuff tied on, be rigged and ready. This rod right here is a 7.4 medium heavy Defender rod in the blue color scheme. And uh, we actually just took the Corrado DC off of this rod right here and put it on the Emperor for the night. And uh, so we got to get another reel for this bad boy right here. So go ahead and drop down in the comments what reel you think we should pick up for this. I'm kind of thinking that new SLX DC. I don't know, it's black and blue. This is black and blue, could go well. 
Next, we've got a Flares Frog and Flip and Stick. This one is a lot beefier than the Travel setup, though. This is the 7.3 Heavy, and oh, oh, it feels like it's ready to catch some frog fish. Probably use this thing for a lot of different stuff, though. Texas rigs, jigs, frogs, top waters. Uh, there's really no limit to what this bad boy is capable of. Flares Frog and Flip and Stick and 7.3. Three more rods and that's it. All right guys, we've got the Lunkers Limited Edition 7.6 Heavy. This one we've had in the past and we liked it so much we wanted to pick up another. Devin and I are constantly out fishing together so maybe we have like two of the same setups. So some of these rods have similar ratings or a similar length, but Devin and I are both fishing maybe two Texas rigs at the same time, two frogs at the same time. So it makes sense to have a few different rods that are very similar. Lunkers Limited 7.6, it's one of our favorites. So if you guys are looking for something a little bit heavier, throw some bigger baits, I think this one right here has got you covered. Second to last, you guys, is the favorite rush rod, specifically the 7.3 Heavy. This sucker is bad to the bone. The finish out on some of these higher end rods, this one goes for $250, meaning you can actually get this for $50 off with our code in the description. It's just like next level. They're so sick and we can't wait to use this one. We're probably going to pair this up with... Ah, oh, man, we need to buy a couple more reels, don't we? <laughs> we got to stock up on a couple reels for these new rods. The Rush just has a finish out that's just so sick. It just makes you want to take it out and go fishing. Uh, we can't wait to throw this one at a pond near you on the next couple vlogs. Devin and I actually threw this one out in Florida, I forgot to mention, and absolutely loved it. And that's the reason why we wanted to pick this rod up. We were out in Florida for iCast and Favorite had a couple spares that we could use during our trip out there. And man, we just had to pick one up. So the Rush. Last one of the night, we saved the, you could say best for last. This one right here is the favorite summit. Oh my gosh, it's like light as a feather. This one is going to get its own review for sure. It's definitely deserving of that. And it is uh, basically, it's an all carbon design. It feels like a pencil. It's so light. It's crazy. You feel like you're going to break it, but you know you're not. <laughs> this is the 7.3 Heavy with the extra fast tip. So we've never had a rod quite like this. I'm just imagining the sensitivity with this the first time we break it out is going to be like no other rod we've ever thrown. The price tag on this one is put at $350. Definitely the most expensive rod we have ever thrown. Uh, that gets you $70 bucks off if you use our code and you want to try something like the Summit out. But we're going to go ahead and do a full review on this thing sometime soon so you guys can really get a strong feel for it if you were in the market for something like this. It's constructed from tip to tip one piece. Even the hook holder is just on a little rubber piece that wraps around the rod for you to put your hooks and it's just oof, it's a thing of beauty this thing is just all carbon and we cannot wait to throw this i think this is one of the lightest rods on the market so get stoked about this one guys we're about ready to throw this and have some fun that's that guys full rod and reel arsenal video hope you loved it along with some of these baits and tackle that we've used and what techniques we use to throw them drop down in the comments what reels you think we should pair up with a couple of these new rods and we're going to go ahead and get to work throwing these things in some more videos we also cannot thank carl's bait and tackle enough and favorite rods for supplying us with all these goodies you guys until the next one peace out <coughs>